I've had the privilege of working uh, for Texas A&M University for 25 years now, and for the first 24 years of my residency, I worked in the Memorial Student Center. And every day when I walked in, I would walk by a plaque that's on the wall, and that plaque read from John 15, 13, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. And that always meant a lot to me, and we shared it, and how great to have that verse written inside Memorial Student Center at Texas A.M. University. But what that really meant came true for me when in 2004 I saw the passion of the Christ. And I realized what Jesus really went through. I think we as Christians, uh, we like to live in this world that he arose, he arose, and we go straight to Easter Sunday. And yet sometimes we don't realize the great anguish and the great pain that Christ went through for us. I went back to a passage in Isaiah, and it says, And to whom his arm of the Lord has he been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was pierced for my transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. He was crushed for my iniquities. Upon him was a chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are all healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned, every one of us, to his own way. And the Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. Suffered in the 
garden for your sin and mine. See him trudge up Calvary's mountain, not my will but thine. Cursing mobs and angry soldiers spit upon his face. And the sky in winter darkness but death to reach and sin would go. And Jesus died. He loved us so. That he did love had pity on us, he provided them at last. Shall we not return a favor, live each day for our dear Savior? 